Steve Jones with the Hardscape Channel, back with Chuck Chambers. We, uh, we kind of got into an offshoot conversation here about uh, design professionals and standards up in, in Canada. Yeah, probably the biggest thing that the, the ICPI can provide, Steve, um, is the knowledge. And, and the tech specs, there's 17 or 18 different tech specs. Uh, and, and getting those into the hands of the designers, they can easily be downloaded off the internet. Um, but having one voice out there in the industry or, or everyone kind of doing things, you know, one way, as opposed to designers or, and or contractors, you know, tweaking things or doing things their own way. It's not a Canadian problem. No, it's probably not. No, <laughs> it's an everywhere problem. Well, you know, uh, again, why we call them standards? I mean, standards are things that uh, uh, that are is your is your guideline to do things correctly, and those standards are created from ex I mean, years of experienced contractors, and not that uh, people who want to tweak things away are, are wrong, but if we if we continue to do that and we don't follow the standards. Um, we will have will continue to have great difficulty in dealing with architects, engineers, and acceptance of a program that nobody believes there are true standards to follow. So I worry about that. Okay. Yeah, that, that's true. You can't have everybody. Uh, it's, it's almost uh, like the law. You can't have everybody making their own laws and running around doing their own things. Uh, we, you know, we have to have some sort of compliance where everyone's at least on the same page and and uh, following you know, the same standards and rules that are going along. Well, and that's, you know, I feel that's important. And even though <laughs> sometimes my ego gets in the way and I feel I, I know better, there's a process to get that in. And you know what, there are unique, uh, construction projects always contain unique instances. But I, I truly believe that that's, that's a good time, depending on the size of the project, to reach out to ICPI and our technical staff to get support for what you have. Instead of taking the heat for you on yourself, either as an engineer, architect, or contractor, reach out. Absolutely. Uh, Dave Smith and, and Rob Bowers are both excellent, and, and they field many questions um, all the time. Uh, Landscape Ontario just had their Congress show uh, this past week, and the ICPI chapter had a booth there. We were very surprised at how many design professionals came around looking for information and, and wanting information uh, on the design and specifications um, of pavers and, and walls. Um, and we even had uh, the CNLA, which is the Canadian Nurseries Landscape Association, came around and they wanted Rob to come out to Moncton and, and put on a presentation for them out there. And uh, Rob, you know, right away, you know, got back to, I know, got back to Rebecca from the CNLA and, and is going to be doing that. So oh, that's great. That's yeah. great. No, the design people, uh, you know, there's lots of information out there. And as the ICPI, particularly, uh, you know, the chapters around North America, we want to get that information into their hands. You know, and, uh, and I'm going to throw in a plug here for uh, Hardscape North America in Louisville this in, in 2013, the end, yep. of, end of October. It's a great place to meet our staff. It's a, uh, the ICPI staff. It is a fabulous place to meet contractors from all over North America. We have roundtable discussions. We have this great ability to interact, learn, and get to know the people that really have helped create this industry. And if you're one of those people that have been there for a long time helping create this industry, then we want you there. You need to participate. We want to hear what you have to say. We want you to share your experiences. We may not agree, but at least we'll have a nice discussion about it. Oh, absolutely. No, absolutely, Steve. Sure. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This is Steve Jones with the Hardscape Channel signing off.